Dubai found out something like 20, 25 years ago. It was going to be running out of oil. And as a matter of strategy, decided that obviously it had to diversify its economy. Oil now represents only 4% of Dubai's GDP. There was a very strategic and conscious decision to start investing in infrastructure. We started flying 1985 with a couple of aeroplanes. We all stood and watched on the ramp as the first aeroplane pushed back. It was a great day. And from that point onwards, we never really looked back. Today, we have a fleet of 168 wide-bodied aircraft. We have 240 more on order. The airport is under a major expansion plan. In seven years, we'll have the field larger than Heathrow by 50%, larger than Paris, bigger than Frankfurt. We have, within eight hours of here, probably two-thirds of the world land masses and two-thirds of the world's population. So we have created a civil aviation mega hub. The same kind of opportunity exists with Jabal Ali. That just enhances your ability to move freight very quickly. If you'll ask a lot of Chinese companies who have now located themselves here or trade with the Middle East, they tend to use Dubai as the conduit for the Middle East and Africa. From uh, 2004, we moved our regional office from uh, Sri Lanka to Dubai, and our service and our business is growing. I'm confident about uh, Dubai's role in shipping and uh, logistic industry. The government keep on investing in Jebali port. This is the terminal two where our ships call. It has got about 29 gantries, which are the super post Panamax crane, which do about 28 to 30 moves an hour. The containers are discharged from the mother vessel, loaded onto a common feeder vessel, which take the cargoes to ports like Bahrain, Kuwait, Dhamam, Muscat, Doha, or Abu Dhabi. There are now some 18 free zones within Dubai. Each of the free zones is a cluster of economic activity specialized in that activity. You can establish and own your own business. It's zero rated for taxation, so you're not paying any personal income tax, you're not paying any corporate income tax. And yet you get the benefit of world-class infrastructure. The DIFC is a free zone, the financial city within the city of Dubai, a jurisdiction on our own. You've got a authority, which is, represents government, you've got a regulator, and of course, since we have our own laws, we also have our own courts. The likes of Standard Chartered, HSBC, Deutsche Bank, Barclays, all the big names are here. We moved into DIFC pretty much at the start of DIFC. And that's why we occupy building number one. DIFC is a free zone, but that's just one part of the equation. The second is also about ease of communication, ease of travel, ease of bringing people in. Dubai Airport this year will receive more than 50 million passengers, ease of hiring people, and lots of other things go into the business mix. You need to be in a place where people like to live, like to work, like to play. If you look at the quality of the schools, the quality of the housing, quality of the hospitals, Dubai is a very attractive location. Here is a truly global city. Here is a city that is engaged with the rest of the world, and that is its strength. Dubai has learned how to build infrastructure. If you do it intelligently, physical infrastructure can also change economic geography. If you look at the way Dubai does it, and then you look at the way, say, countries in Europe do it, or America, my goodness, this has got to be the easiest way to get your business up and running, get going and trading profitably.